Hi, my friends. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're looking at a building block, mini micro building blocks, 3D puzzle. Um, Rets, I don't know the brand name. I, it's up here. It's a little hard to, I don't know what kind of it's called. Um, it's ages 14 plus, number 8625. There's over 7,000 peaches, and the build was a little difficult. Um, it It's in a sheet form. Now... You can see how it's in sheet form here. I tried to do this in stop motion, uh, boy, one by one, and that was taking that took me like six hours um, just to do uh, up to number five. So I got twenty five percent of it done in six hours, and I was like, I gotta stop doing this. And then so I built them all in the the sleeves next and then that took a long time. So it is seven thousand pieces. The pieces that connect before we show you that look like this and they lock in so they they lock in like let me see here show you here they lock in where it's in an angle let's see right like that and you slide them into place all right then they're locked in now the groove technology here is pretty cool but but for stop motion purposes a oh, pain in the ass um and <laughs> And like I had to slide each one in and it was very difficult um, for that part. So then I got frustrated and then I built, built a little slower. Here he is. He's actually pretty tall. Um, and he, he doesn't look, he looks pretty cool. I mean, I definitely like him. He's definitely, he's definitely tall. Just like his feet could do a little bit more. Problem is as you're building him, he wants to lean back and because uh, he's a little top heavy until you put the actual head on. Um, so the shell is pretty cool. I didn't like some of the gaps that they did or I messed up, but I looked at the box. I kept looking at the box and I kept seeing that that kind of looks like it in the box. I just, it didn't work for me. Like they give you a little extra. So, I mean, I might recommend just filling in those little spots that, um, shows right there. I mean, I could have messed up. I, I mean, I'm not perfect. And the instructions here were, um, tiring because you do so much. The pieces um, are frustrating, too, because if you get them a little off-center, you can really mess them up. But it's a very nice piece, right? A child, 14 is a perfect age group for it. Uh, they'll sit there. It'll be hours of uh, them doing it. I was I built the rest of the 75% in about six hours just in the panels, and I was kind of watching a show um, and trying to focus. You need a lot of light because you have to really see which ones are. There's only um, three styles. There's a one, there's a two, and there's a three. And then the colors are black, white, and green, and uh, a yellowish here. Um, oh, there it is. That's what I was talking about. So the feet don't stick very well because they don't groove in. So it's only at that one joint, which is a little disappointing, but... But you're not playing with it, folks. You are, um, you're kind of just looking at it. Like, you're going to put it in one spot, and then that's it. You're going to, like, it's not meant to be a, a toy. It's meant to, to be a display piece. Now, price point here could be a little, you could be priced out a little bit, because it's not a brand name, but it's still, it's $50. All right, this is a $50 set, pretty much. I think I got it for $44. And then there's taxes. So, imagine, uh, is this $50 U.S.? So it is pretty um, pricey, but it is a very large piece. Um, so, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how, yeah, you know, it's, it's, you, you want to take your time on this. Um, make sure that you have a, a lot of space and then you're just sitting there. You can take it over like, I, I think total building and total, um, this probably took me, um, I'd like to say, well, we got six, six, 12, and then another two or three. So maybe 15 hours to, to do the stop motion part. It would have been faster if I wasn't doing stop motion. I was doing stop motion. So you probably can build this in six hours um, and just go quick. You can have someone else help you build some of the sets too. Uh, the hands were kind of hard to do. Um, I don't know. It was hard to read on the instructions whether they needed to be slid in more. I'm hoping they don't because uh, sliding them onto those pieces all the way down, it's you have to be smoosh those pieces in. Like you can see that it's not perfect here that I didn't do um, because it hurts your fingers. So you can maybe use pliers to push them down even more. Um, some of the pieces um, are a little frayed. Some of them 
aren't perfect and it can get very frustrating. I do like the turtle shell on the, like, you know, his little shell on the back, the little Yoshi seat. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, but overall, it's a really nice piece. It's, is it worth $50? I would say no. I would say the price point here for me, uh, because it's a knockoff brand in the sense of like, it's not Lego. I know that maybe they're trying to make a name for themselves and they got, um, Yoshi here that they just did. And it's supposed to be for like learning for children to, uh, to learn like a STEM thing. Um, I would say price paint $30 is what I would lean towards. Not the almost $50 price tag that they had it for. Um, so if you can get it on sale or something, $30 seems more reasonable than, um, paying 44 or 49 or whatever it was i got it on amazon so you might be able to get it in wherever you're at cheaper but uh it's definitely a cool piece if your child likes uh yoshi or and you want to build it with them um anything under anything under 14 you're gonna really want to help them like really uh i separated all the colors first and i set up separate them by um type like you know ones twos and threes um, and then I just went from there. Um, so you might want to take your time in doing that too. It makes it a lot easier. Um, yeah. Does anyone else like Yoshi? Does anyone else, you watch the build on this? What, I know it's not perfect. I wanted to try to build it all the way up at first and that would have been a long time. And I just felt that I needed, um, uh, to do other things and I needed to move on from Yoshi um, especially since I needed him for Halloween for my work display so I needed to get him done faster so that's why I decided not to do it individually and it would have been a lot of photos it would have been like 15,000 photos to uh, do my stop motion that, uh, that I would normally do and that would have been too much for hard drive space and it also would have been um, yeah it would have, it would have definitely uh, taken too much hard drive for for that type of um, photos, but uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I enjoy the piece. People are gonna love it, especially for display pur purposes. So, if you have like a Mario theme or something, um, you you might want to pick them up. Or if you really like Mario and you want to put that on your wall or something, I think that would um, really work out. Um, and just I would clean them up a little bit. I would definitely I'm I would definitely clean this up. You get a little bit extra pieces, not much, um, but in case you lose some, drop some. But I think I think it can do. I think it can do. Um, I hope that um, all of you enjoyed uh, enjoy this. Well, this is a video is to kind of help you. Um, for me, it was for my decorations. But for for you, I'm hoping that you can see this. And you're like, ah, oh, should I pick this up? I hope this helps you decide whether or not you want to buy this. Uh, thanks for all that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.